So this is my new pedal board that I've been building for the last couple of weeks. I've made a video before uh, about how I've, uh, I've built this thing. And this will be a video that's more into demoing what this pedal board can do. It's based around the Line 6 HX Stomp. Uh, that's the main amp sim of this, uh, of this pedal board. Uh, and the other pedals that are on this board, and these are just pedals that uh, can be mimicked or can be mimicked uh, particularly good on the, on the HX Stomp. This is, my, uh, this is my clean setting that I use uh, most of the time. So in this clean setting, um, I'm using uh, the US Princess uh, uh, amp that's on the HX Stomp. It's modeled after a Fender Princeton. Uh, that's on plate reverb because I really like plate reverb. I can do a big reverb as well. And as a boost, I've got the Timmy. Capsim is a 4x12 uh, uh, Californian, so it's modeled after the Mesa Boogie one with uh, vintage 30s in them. And at the end of the chain, there's uh, the LA Studio Comp. So that's my, uh, that's my clean sound. For the high gain, I'm switching over to the Yumbucker. The high gain has a tube screamer going into uh, Dutch Benzine Mega Amp. Uh, which is modeled after a diesel VH4 uh, and the same uh, 4x12 uh, cabinet. So that's the high gain setting that I mainly use on the HX Stomp. Uh, now let's get into the, uh, the pedal board itself. Um, I'm starting with the Keeley Compressor Mini. That's on the top of the board, that's the, the, uh, the start of the chain. That's just, it just adds a little sustain to the overall sound. Uh, it's, it's on all the time. Um, it sounds good when it's clean and it sounds good when it's dirty. Just for the extra sustain. So this is the Compressor Mini by Keeley. After the compressor, it goes into the bass machine by Electro Harmonics. That turns my guitar into a bass. It's on preset one, which is the uh, model after the Fender Precision bass. Um, and it goes straight into the HX Stomp. For that I've got, uh, starting off with a simple pitch shifter, uh, if I want to uh, tune, my, tune the bass in another setting. After that it goes into a compressor and the Woody Blue uh, Amp Sim, which is modeled after the Acoustic 360 model uh, with a stock uh, 1x18 speaker. So yeah, really nice low sound. And I can turn, them all, turn both the guitar and the bass on at the same time. After the bass 9, uh, the dry guitar sound goes into the uh, Digitech Freakout. Sounds like this. Yeah, some synthesized feedback, <laughs> you know what it does. Uh, after the freakout, it goes into the Sentry noise gate. I think it's the Scott Ian uh, tone print that's, uh, that's on this thing. This particular noise gate has an effects loop, so it only senses 
your guitar sound at this point, but doesn't add the gate effect to it yet. Okay, after that, there's the Whammy DT by Digitech, uh, mainly that I mainly use for drop tuning. And uh, the classic Grammy stuff as well. The HX Tom can also do the, the Whammy stuff, but it takes up a lot of DSP power. So that's the reason why I've chosen the Whammy DT for the drop, drop tuning. Uh, after the Whammy, it goes into the effects switcher, which is the Musicom Lab EFX LE. Um, yeah, it's just a great switcher. You can change the order of the loops, so it doesn't have just a standard uh, standard setup, which is great. Uh, you can do parallel loops, uh, it has MIDI, uh, so yeah, it's a great switcher. Uh, the first output of, this, uh, of the switcher is the, is the tuner output, which is the Korg Pitch Black Poly. And you can see it, uh, it shows the, the notes you're playing, but it can also do uh, polyphonic tuning, so you can strum your whole guitar. And you can see which, which of the strings are uh, out of tune. Or just one note at a time. The tuner is always active, so you can always check your tuning while you're, uh, while you're playing. In the first loop of the Musicom Lab EFX LE, there's the Sentry again, and this is where it applies the gate effect. And like I said, you can change the order of the loops in the, in the, in the Musicom Lab EFX LE. So the gate is actually placed in between the amp sim and the cabinet. So now the reverb can just go on when the gate is activated. With the delay as well. So that's the first loop. In the, in the second loop of the Musicom Lab EFX LE is, the, is both the Dr. Distardo and the C4 synthesizer. And the C4 sounds like this. So yeah, the C4 can, uh, can do a lot of things. Uh, yes, yeah, the synthesizer, four voices, uh, a lot of options for distortions and filters. Sequencers as well, uh, but uh, it really lacks sustain, and that's the reason that I've used the Dr. Distorto. So the gain is completely off on the Dr. Distorto, uh, and this means that it's just a clean sound, but it also has a feedback circuit in it, just like the Digitech Freakout. Um, but it will just clamp on what note you're playing, and it will sustain your note if you, uh, if you tune it right. And without it, you can see there's hardly no sustain. It ends your note in a really weird way, I think. You can hear it die out just a little weird. So yeah, more sustain with the Line 6 Dr. Distardo. Uh, and the sensory noise gate is after it as well. And this gives me a little more control over the ending of the note. When the noise gate is off. You can hear it just goes on after I've dampened the, the strings of my guitar. And with the noise gate on, uh, this problem is, isn't there anymore. Uh, so yeah, so just some tricks to, uh, to make the C4 sound great. So that was the second loop of the EFX LE. 
In the third loop, there's the slicer by Boss, uh, the Boss SL20, uh, the OG slicer. So yeah, the slicer, it's a, it's a great unique pedal from, uh, from Boss. They recently came out with the, with the smaller version, but I really like this, uh, this big version because it also has a, a looper in it. That was the third loop of the EFX LE. In the fourth loop, there's nothing. In the fifth loop, there's the uh, HX Tom. So the sense of loop five on the, on the EFX LE uh, goes to the input of the HX Tom and the Stereo effect uh, send uh, goes back to the EFX LE. Uh, the sixth loop is also not in use on the EFX LE. Um, so the output uh, goes back to the HX Stomp with, with the stereo return. And the output of the HX Stomp, uh, there are two outputs uh, that goes to the, my DAW at the moment. Uh, output one is the, uh, is the guitar and output two is the, is the bass sound. This is output one, this is output two. So it's not set up for stereo, but it's a dual mono setup. So yeah, in the clean setting, all of the loops on the EFX LE are bypassed and it goes straight to the effects return of the HX Stomp. Uh, on the high gain settings, there's first the HX Stomp and in the loop of the HX Stomp, there's the uh, sensory noise gate and it goes back to the HX Stomp uh, for the for the cap sim and some reverbs and delay. For the synthesizer settings, uh, the guitar goes to the, the Keeley, of course, uh, then into the Dr. Distardo, after that the C4, uh, and then it goes uh, to the Sentry for some uh, more control over the note. Through the HX Tom for some modulation. And delay. And I can also combine the, the C4 with, uh, with just a regular guitar sound. So those are the pedals, uh, the pedals that make noise. And there's also two pedals that don't make noise. And those are the expression pedals. Uh, I've got both the Roland EV5 and the Line 6 uh, EX01. Um, the Roland one is connected uh, to the EFX LE. Um, and the only thing you can, uh, you can do with it is that it converts uh, the expression pedal uh, uh, to a MIDI CC. And you can change the CC number on each preset. And the other one uh, has a WAH. Uh, and this one is, uh, is connected directly to the HX Tom. So yeah, both, both pedals have, have, uh, have advantages in, the, in these settings. Um, because the HX Tom reacts differently to, uh, to its, own, uh, its own expression pedals uh, compared to, the, uh, to MIDI CC. And you can control the C4 with MIDI CC as well. Uh, speaking of MIDI, let's, uh, let's go into the signal path. Um, uh, the MIDI starts uh, mainly on the EFX LE. Uh, there it, uh, it sends uh, MIDI to the HX Stomp. After the HX Stomp, it goes to the uh, MIDI Tech USB MIDI host. And this, uh, this one's connected to the C4. Uh, so you can change presets and, uh, and stuff on the, on the C4. After the C4 that's connected to the USB MIDI host, there's also a MIDI cable going to the slicer. But apparently um, the C4 doesn't have a MIDI through. Uh, and in this way the MIDI messages uh, won't reach the slicer. So I can't sync both the slicer and the, and the C4 synth to MIDI tempo at the moment. So this is my pedal board. I hope it's all clear that I've, uh, what I've explained. 
uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying this setup. It's, uh, it's great to play around with.